up so Saturn in your which house let's count that's gonna be in your ninth house um, okay so for cancers uh, there's not really a need for it but you might have to do it there's so many people also kind of relying on you to be sort of mean to yourself or still be in service and servitude um, most cancers don't like that feeling of expectation now by now or many cancers don't really feel that free or that awesome so how to associate I think it's really hard for us to know that we've got to close it down basically there's certain cancerians that know okay if I keep going even for a minute with this trend or this business I'm just gonna shut myself down you know, <clears throat> if I keep on going with this partnership, I'll just be skinned very fast. If I keep on lying about this, or I keep on participating, if I keep on paying this or that, it's not really about being a martyr, but some of you guys might want to keep on going in these little enslaved or trapped states. Like, well, I, I got used to it. You know, it's like, um, <clears throat> I know this doesn't pay me a lot or... I know this person doesn't really love me or I, I know I won't make any money out of this or I, I won't I won't get on the road anytime soon so I'll just kind of portray myself as normal quote unquote normal uh, or relevant in a certain scheme or in a certain illusion which basically makes it sort of kind of almost work but it's kind of wholesome and uh, I believe in you cancers like I love it but not for maybe a long time I do understand if some people are uh, shrunk by life. For instance, um, I have to, uh, you know, do this or I have to make this and I have to... It's like a process for some... Um, my gosh, like, for example, my family lives in such a small house or, like, I have to talk so much for a job or I have to do so many things. I have to help so many people to be able to work myself out or I have to do so many things for others. That's also okay. So I'm seeing that there's a weird way that Cancerians are kind of almost set up or wounded enough or shrunk enough to not uh, really care anymore and just uh, make a completely different way. And there are some cancers that are very, very good at that. Um, it's like a parenting exercise. You know, after that person says another derogatory thing or after, you know, you have to do so much work for nothing or you have to do that thing again, you just go like, look, you guys, I'm going, I'm packing, I'm packing like right now. And uh, that's where I think uh, a lot of cancers might be later on in time. I feel that um, quite a lot of uh, us people with uh, cancerian parents or like uh, cancerian partners, women have to experience it as well, like a sudden change and a huge need for a shift and a huge need to be kind and I'm seeing cancer saying look I've made so much effort here I've done so much work look I've tried so hard like I've lived for so much or I've wanted this to work so much look 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 and now now at this point I can't handle it I can't handle it I can't handle this marriage anymore I can't handle this experience I can't be part of this uh, town I can't be part of this uh, life and then, yeah, I can see why or when uh, a lot of cancers might just basically fold over and no longer want to do anything for anybody. And uh, a sudden uh, death of sorts uh, is necessary. Um, it's like a sudden sort of uh, change of pulse, a sudden need to basically be under pressure enough to come off the rails and uh, find out that things were so wrong or so necessary also that didn't get right uh, or things were very good actually at the end so it's like a humbling and a coming to a truth um, and there are lots of different ways there's like a whole variety of different ways as to why uh, things are not faithful or not happy and uh, there's lots of reasons why cancer may not want to experience certain parts of their life ever again why they're looking for stability probably already in different people and different ways of life and trying alternatives. So that's also like not really the worth, it's not really the center point of why cancer is like this. I think that some 
they basically have no idea that they've built themselves a life that probably already is pretty good and kind of all there, but like certain parts of the puzzle might not ever fit. Um, and yeah, there's probably going to be some protests and there's going to be some faith seeking and some questions and the question of the forefathers and, you know, the ancient generations of people and are we really worth that? You know, is it really worth it? You know, am I really going to be this? You know, am I going to really be stranded alone with my child? You know, am I really going to be able to do this? You know, so there are lots of people um, that are questioning very, very large technologies. Also, I think that there are going to be some people going to war, you know, asking for things, asking for handouts, uh, telling the government what they deserve, asking other people for help. Um, then I also like basically have no idea how this works because I'm basically not a part of this anymore, never really fully could ever have been, but there are certain people that want to be in rulership positions over their country, over their people, over their folks, um, with Cancerian Rising specifically maybe, or, or Moon's Suns. Um, that want to be very, very good to other people, but also want to make them responsible, make them want to carry them as well. It's like, we the people have to work so hard, or we the people have to get it right, or we have to move on in the world. So I also don't think so. I feel that any kind of conglomerate-driven, crazy emotional uh, cancer energy is just going to eventually burn itself out. Um, there's not really a need to be there in front of the people to be part of a political or social movement or to have some kind of uh, socialite activity unless you really, really care. And then that's also going to just burn out eventually. I think there's just like a whole lot of politics and a whole lot of crises. Um, the better cause and effect, I think, for cancer is just to say, look, look how well you've done. Okay. Uh, good. What is not going on? Okay, what is going on outside? What is going on in the country or community? Try to be more slinky. Basically, just try to kind of find little facts and factors of your life and walk the way that is more harmonious and kind without having to be part of these communal, conglomerate, ruleship-based things. But unfortunately, Certain people with cancer, anything, want to sometimes uh, control, rule, or be part of a certain type of social magic. And they want it so much that they would rather do that and suffer than have a good life and not have anything to do with other people. So criticizing other people is hard. And going through people's lives and looking how they live and trying to form some kind of like also martyrdom martyrdom uh, beyond this point, uh, wanting to uh, have relationships or uh, close bonds and partnerships when, when people are just um, not correct or not right. And I also feel that quite a lot of people with cancer, like Risings, for example, they won't be able to believe like how other people work their world or how other people run their life and why are we all like this and what, what the hell is going on and how come this whole world... And they will get to a certain type of uh, gold wine also. They will eventually improve themselves through that. But, like, honestly, what do you want? What do you want? You know, I think that's the question. So some people uh, with cancer rising specifically will want to control and will want to contract other people. So that's like um, running conglomerates, running things, having to be one of the people on the board, having to be a strong needed partner or dependable person in order to get things going on then there are lots of us uh, with any cancer energy that are just like okay look this is great I'm just going to try and make sure that I get enough if I'm not getting enough sleep I need to get more sleep if I'm not getting enough care I need to get more care it's just as simple as that but um, people can't stop that fear and that anxiety that they get from wanting to be somebody and uh, I think also having eighth house Pluto potentially for cancers is just going to be so heavy and kind of evil and uh, people wanting to make sense people wanting even a war people wanting to make uh, certain money certain ways or be a bigger person than they can people trying to be noticed people being nervous and emotional about things not going their way um my gosh it's just so messy unless you take a look at things and try to be more hopeful basically and um 
if you can, on, only if you really want to, okay, be part of some kind of humanitarian organization or like a huge party of people. But honestly, like, as I've said also in the previous reading for, you know, the general transit of uh, Saturn and Pisces is just worthless, like being around people and going to war, being part of some kind of like speculative agency or being part of any kind of large conglomerate or movement of people is just worthless and is painful. And also you might eventually be booted off or you might have just a lot of drama and then come out again being like, what, what did I do? So people that are also obsessed with conformity, <clears throat> that's really hard for me to see, like cancers uh, that don't want to just be a guy in, in the mix. They don't want to be just a lady just, you know, doing her thing. Um, they want to be counted. They want to be enjoyed. They want to be marveled at. Uh, they want to be known and they want to be somebody, uh, that's going to come with a, with a price tag. That's just going to be so expensive. Um, so basically what I'm saying is, uh, for those people that really want to be part of some kind of social movement, even the glamour of uh, changing lives and talking about something that matters, you guys are going to waste your time. Uh, but there will be change. There will be a chance things will change. It's just like being stranded on the beach. It's like once I was on the big boat and now I'm just sitting there on the beach after being kind of like mm, straight by the waves you know like so it's like one of those things like people are not going to be honest basically they're not going to be hopeful or helpful it's not like one of those uh gorgeous times where like a cancer is seen and heard and everybody just basically like ride this way cancer please please have a look at our wares it's not one of those things so I think that um, most of you guys are probably already hurt by how life has panned out or the picture that certain people have painted or like what is the cost for holding responsibility for other people what is the cost of your message or what is the cost of your love for other people or uh, how much do you have to pay like for the amount of work you're doing or the amount of space you're holding you guys already have a cost like there's already a costly thing so, for example, <clears throat> I work so much I don't sleep or like I talk so much to people I forget who I am or like I'm so afraid sometimes as to what's going to happen to me, but I'm also looking out for other people constantly or I have so many children I can't uh, cope or I, I don't have any money for everybody or I can't support myself. All of that is already needing to be seen. So tr just try to look at the truth and the fortunes also that you have. Try to be um, very honest about it. Don't hide in the conglomerate of people that seem to really need you. Nobody really does. That's the thing. Even if you're like working at a soup kitchen, if you, even if you're like in that Jesus Christ mode, like you're going to save everybody, um, it's just not going to give you nothing. It's not going to help you. It just won't do nothing. Uh, any kind of public activity, any caring of people on your back, adjudicating at this point not going to work out this won't it won't work out even if you're part of like a great philosophy long-term philosophy of people but they're actually going to have some returns like for example if your father and your father's father was a lawyer and you are now working as a lawyer or you have certain type of official role yeah that could work out because it's a long-term thing but if you like have no prerequisite to leadership especially or you are only like a minor involved in certain things and you want to be now on stage in front of people trying to aggressively uh, adjudicate them that's going to bring you absolutely nothing like nothing is going to be like I've spent four years or three years on this project and I thought I would give it my whole life my, my whole world and then eventually the whole group pushed me out and then I was on the street with nothing you know, and then I lost my, I lost my this and I lost this, you know. So, um, all humanitarian action aside, I just think you guys need to get down to the details. You probably have some incredible blessings that life has given you. And you probably have some incredible friends. You probably all have something to be really amazed about in your life. Uh, you probably have quite a lot of missions and visions that are not to do with any kind of group or public a conglomerate of people as they are very unhealthy uh, during a Saturn Pisces. Uh, conglomerates, uh, governmental bodies, anything is very unhealthy. 
um, but you might also get to do things that you never wanted to do, uh, having to do things that you don't really trust, like for example having to go out and make your bread in a certain way that is cruel or harsh or even meaningless. Um, maybe you're trying so hard uh, to do things, so that needs to be adjusted within yourself. And um, I do suggest some travel for some people or some learning or some finding. I feel that it's more about finding out um, what you need and what you can do to better yourself and to make your life um, more hopeful and to try and avoid any kind of uh, pain or hurtful events in your life and keeping out of like governmental, public figures or protests or large numbers or the news or any kind of like money ventures, large, clunky, big, huge supermarket shops, you know, making huge, giant uh, debts and making big shifts and like trying to be somebody large, that's going to be costly for everybody. Like doing big things, buying giant chunks of land, being a big, big man, being a big woman, trying to turn the wheel of time that's going to be shitty for a lot of people but what can be given basically is just a lot of hope and love there's some people that are still going to be there for you but it might be like in the end after that energy chewed me up and spat me out I at least had a friend so for example you're working with very big clunky energies and big clunky egos and then eventually they chewed you up and spat you out but you at least had a mom to go home to like that you know so the way to do it is to keep slim keep slender uh, keep doing things that are small um, imagining yourself more as like say a smaller energy more agile kind of like a cat or like a, a weasel I don't know um, or a fox like these small furry animals are a great guide during this time um, you get the lot by doing that, uh, being curious. If you watch how small animals do it, uh, being curious, being kind of shy and skittish uh, for sure, uh, being agile, having your ear to the ground, knowing exactly what's going to happen before it happens, uh, being wise basically, uh, being very uh, brisk. This is a communicative house, the ninth house, and it's a communicative sign. Um, of Pisces, uh, Saturn, you know, so it's like being very, very wise, being quick, uh, being soon to judge. Also, it's okay to be quick to judge certain situations. Um, it's not that bad to be like, oh shit, uh, this could actually fall, or like, oh no, 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 this this could probably bring me to my knees eventually, or this that's not going to be easy. Um, so it's not about standing there and waiting for things to start to crumble, and it's definitely not about using faith or some kind of collective based endeavor to build yourself up and bulk yourself up and being like no matter what I'm going to stand for my people like try not to be that guy um, it's better to be more small and maybe also yeah in a way narrow-minded because Saturn in the ninth house is always going to be a little narrow-minded so um, how can I say this okay uh, being okay that you could be quick to judge uh, being okay okay if the aroma doesn't feel doesn't smell good uh, don't uh, don't go there like if uh, you look at something and doesn't look good to you just just don't go there it's like say for example with food you can taste like a certain chemical or like that is has been sitting in the fridge for too long you, you can taste it and you just, you just don't eat it you know so safety first sometimes it's um, very human very kind of animalistic senses that might be on the upper hand so basically going with those impulses uh, that are animal and human you know so they're like which is the same thing uh, it is the same thing okay so this is like brisk uh, senses using your senses understanding feelings it's not about those clunky conglomerative mother father I stand for my people I stand for God you know all of those really um, gross actually uh, giant endeavors that push a person to stand in the face of fire and that make them a certain type of uh, hero in their own eyes. Uh, that kind of uh, doesn't need to be martyrdom or all of that. All, all the glamour of being somebody else, basically, and not who you are and have always been, which is uh, quite close to the animal kingdom. It's just that we are really afraid of that. 
if we are not very developed, sorry. Uh, okay, so basically how to do it is uh, to grow yourself uh, young, to grow yourself young and to grow yourself past your age uh, philosophy. Also, I'm feeling that quite a lot of people get age-based philosophies, like by the age of this, I should have this, by the age of that, I should have that. Mm, trying to get slinky and trying to get uh, more conscious and more clean and more organized to be able to withstand the need to birth yourself in a way on a heavy like on, 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 on a heavy side of life you know it's like you guys commit to some really crazy stuff it's clunky so trying to be more like nobody knows who I am it's like a fox or a mouse um, everybody going this way, I'm going to go that way, you know, it's informal, informal, uh, everybody's making money a really hard way, I'm going to go and make some easy money, I'm going to get some cheap cash, I'm going to get some food given to me instead of having to go to the supermarket and buy that food myself, I'm going to wear hand-me-downs, it's fine, I'm not going to like pay $50 for a shirt, you know, I'm, I'm going to do whatever I like, today you know so these kind of robin hood energies you know like slinky fox like energies are going to preserve you for a long time to come and they are going to give you more of that which you need uh, so this is the opposite as to my advice for certain other signs like for gemini for example at the moment uh, there's some cancers that have to really do so much and go through so many things in order to be able to suffer themselves out of darkness um that's really really hard uh so it's like for example if you told yourself you've got to be pious and you've got to pray every day and you've got to be in a very very crazy job and you've got to do all these things for other people and you still got like your kids to feed at home never mind so some people will have to go for some great suffering and just like, I don't have any diplomacy left in me, I think, uh, or patience uh, for, for, the, for this uh, reading here. Um, people will have to go through some uh, hardship, okay, let's just say, to know that it's pointless, okay, and that you could have always been free and young and had your, your way in some ways. Um, there's going to be quite a lot of hardship for people that have designed to be martyrs and that don't see any other way it is going to be so much hardship it's like all of those pressure it's like all not all but some pressure points are just going to have more pressure on them you know it's like oh it was hard okay great we have to have more like say oh i've got four kids and life is hard okay have kid number five and number six during these years have more two more kids okay uh, or like, oh, I can't believe, like, uh, all that work I have to do to be able to, like, live. And, you know, I hate this town. <clears throat> I hate this. I hate that. I hate everything. And I'm still doing this job and I hate it. Okay, have more of the same thing. Um, the easiest way is that uh, evolution for you guys uh, comes as a kind of interesting prize. Um... And some of it is like, there was so much pressure and it was so painful that I've designed a life to never ever have to do that again. So it's like alternative living situations, alternative lives. It's not just that, it's like traveling for a job, doing nothing all day. Um, there's a lot of psychic phenomena, of course, uh, in the mix also. It's just so very weird, it's just so hard and it's so troubled for some cancers to have to learn through needing to experience martyrdom to know that it's just meaningless and no history book or religion dogma could ever make it not meaningless it's just meaningless you know the faithless feeling is uh, very hard uh, but they have to somehow basically find a way out that is more joyful and clean and uh, trying to stay wild basically so what i think has uh, a point here what I think has a uh, way of helping you is just understanding how life is uh, without having to be somebody in front of people and being like you know under you know like flagellation like self-flagellation to be able to deserve some kind of a 
place in the line of people that don't even want to be in that line, you know. So like how to afford more, how to have more bounty, just understanding how nature works, you know. So knowing also the difference, like say, between clean living and not clean living. And uh, this feels really... <sighs> Okay, I'm, go I'm going to say this, like, and I know that a lot of people will probably pass judgment on me as a person. Um, there's so much nature out there. There's so much wonder and there's so many, many, many beautiful people living out there just experiencing life for who, for who, who she is or who it is, who, who they are, what, what it is. Um, It's like getting more and more obvious that these are not the people, maybe, for other people. So what I mean is, uh, free living, uh, obvious organic life, and organic choices are despicable to a majority of people living in a city. And it's becoming more and more alien and uncomfortable to know that people uh, live in joy. Mm. I think that some people feel very mad, maddened and distrustful of... Uh, neutral people that don't want to involve in any kind of political or psychological discussion. I think that there are many of us that don't want to tell the truth also, they, they don't want to uh, say the real truth about who they are, how they live. You know, I feel that lots of us who are going through more natural living situations and have natural lifetimes uh, or life choices, we don't want to help also other people that can't imagine that nature is the way to go. Mm. Um, natural living situations, meaning, my God, organic life, normal life, uh, not in a box, for example, not in front of a TV, is the only way to live. Nobody likes it, right? Nobody likes it. How, how dare you tell me what to do with my life? Okay, good. Um, so that's it. I, I feel that uh, people feel very aggressive with anybody that uh, tells them what works for them, you know, so like, I did a video on veganism. I'm not a vegan at the moment. I'm doing this video in 2023, not a vegan. But I did a video on veganism saying it was a really good idea. And uh, I had somebody tell me that I look bad and I look scary and I'm scary. I had a woman tell me I look scary on my other channel. You know, like people get really hurt and uh, possessed with their own truth. People get very defensive. You know, if you tell them, you know, to try, oh, great to try raw veganism for a while. Um, I just had uh, a woman with a lot of uh, health disorders ask me for advice and I told her that it's good to watch what she's eating because I could smell the sausages in her breath. I could smell what she was uh, eating through, through her email. I could smell that she didn't have very good inner hygiene um, and that she ate a lot of, uh, she had a lot of bacteria, you know, in her body because of uh, unhygienic eating uh, choices and mixing of different things. And um, I told her to eat fruit and vegetables, preferably raw, and uh, she basically told me that she can do whatever the hell she wants and that the human is uh, the best evolution has ever created and um, it's the pinnacle that God created and humans are in power and they can do whatever they want. Yeah. And that she can do whatever she wants. That really scared, like that really frightened me. Uh, that really took me a few paces back with uh, all of my all of my readings. I was like, this is really scary to me that there are certain people deciding on that like that, you know. And uh, <sighs> if if you tell them like one thing, like simply like, okay. You know, you don't mix this with this to keep your body alkaline. You've got to be careful. It's like they just don't want it. They don't want to. They don't want <laughs> And uh, the thing is, let them do it. Let them do it. You know, so that's uh, what I found out, uh, I suppose, the hard way, like last few years, being online, uh, trying to uh, lead a better life myself and have better choices myself and, uh, you know, drinking, mm, like drinking special teas and, helping my body regain itself and obviously anti-aging, yeah? I'm not sure if you noticed, never mind. 
um, anti-aging, with uh, treating the body better and finding new hacks for the organs, which is like probably what I'm going to always be doing. Um, that's basically a huge interest of mine. You know, that's, that's my curiosity is uh, finding out how the body works and um, what to do to make sure that it doesn't uh, self-corrupt, it doesn't ox uh, oxidize uh, to the state that a lot of bodies do. Um, it's like a science, actually. It's a science. It's not just like a judgment, like, don't eat sausages. It's not just like that. It's, like, it's, it's a very interesting way of life. And I, I just given up just, just the other day, seeing that email, um, human is at the top of the food chain, humans are the best. I'm just like, well, I give up, like I give up, you know. But that actually helped me, you know, because um, I've noticed that like staying out of these conglomerates of people and staying away from these psyches and these uh, robust views uh, has aided me in who I am and it has helped me and healed me and it has made me uh, also more vulnerable because I know that there is not enough of uh, people like me in the world, very rare people. Um, it's like a very kind of weird uh, psychosis that sometimes also I've had previously not knowing how I was gonna survive without appealing to uh, sausage eating friends to my sausage eating friends well not necessarily sausages it's just like people that want uh, certain results for humanity and for their own lives and uh, that live for completely different um, imaginary for me imaginary reasons um, but that's not too bad um, I don't want to necessarily ruffle your feathers as well just uh, what I'm saying is that what I found as a reader, you've got to step back and allow people to eat their sausages, allow people to live in towns where they don't like anybody, allowing people to make the wrong choices constantly and uh, believing in certain hateful ideas because um, it'll preserve you and it will treat you better, it will help you eventually. So this whole Saturn in uh, Pisces for you I think is a question of maybe to a degree your representation of faith and belief and yeah all of that it's not just about teaching people how to live a better life because I feel a lot of you guys will be just shunned and put back I think it's more like you just save yourself basically and uh, feel not so necessarily compassionate or so hurt by other people's choices and uh, Letting them be okay about also the choices that or the crimes against themselves or their bodies or other people that they've committed or the choices that they're making, like being absolutely fine that other people don't understand how. And uh, if you know how and if you understand what it's about, maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be spread. And um, I'm also like sort of starting to understand what uh, people are and, and how they live. And I just noticed like recently, like later in years, um, that there's like nobody that really wants to know themselves. They're just quite happy throwing their energy around. And also the, their money or, you know, their power or their state, they, they don't actually really have any idea or any choice as to what to do. Um, because there's so little, there's so little in t intelligent people and uh, ignorance is, uh, ignorance is, uh, is is useful as well okay it's, it's it's true like for example if everybody suddenly grew up and they knew exactly what was right for them and um what was really going on in the world they would probably uh, yeah they, they would probably make some huge changes but also like there are risks you know if, if, if it can be like if everybody just grew up and really understood what life was about um maybe there would not be a uh, forest anymore Everybody would just spread out into like little settlements and that would too be a tragedy. Like say if there was never any wilderness left, if everybody just kind of like spread out and moved out of like certain experiences, environments to live um, in the wilderness, that would also be not very sustainable for anybody. That would be very bad. That would be gross actually. So yeah, that's also the truth, you know. So yeah, big questions like human population. Like I think we're like at about eight or nine billion, eight eight billion. I don't know. Um, yeah, human population, human lives, and this kind of like messy psychosis that 
the next few years will provide. Uh, it's easy to close your eyes. So be unafraid also, yeah, I gotta say it's quite important that seemingly scared child, frightened child that goes, I don't understand how this is possible, I don't understand what the world is becoming, I don't know who I am in this world. Uh, this child actually knows a lot more than you. Uh, they know a lot more than the part that goes, well, actually, it's good to be important and guide the people towards the light right now. It's like, it's okay, like, uh, stepping down or stepping out of these people's uh, lives, like, not involving, basically, in, in the fire, not going through any karmas, not being involved in anything, sometimes is uh, better than uh, trying so hard, you know, it's, it's just, you don't need to try, basically you learn how to breathe for yourself and how to cook for yourself and how to lean, it's like leaning out of danger, you know, it's like leaning away from trouble, uh, you don't have to be the oak for anybody, you don't have to be a big man or a woman, you don't need to be some kind of a hero for someone else at your own expense. I think it's way better to just like learn about that plasticity and that sensitivity that nature has at its core and allow it to be a guide. I think it was Bruce Lee that said that a uh, flexible thin tree, you know, is better than a big, fat, sturdy, authoritarian tree because like come what may the the storm you know for example would not break a flexible tree but a strong sturdy tree um, is easier to break in a storm um, it's an interesting thing I, I feel it also I think that it's important uh, to see that as true and a lot of the best martial artists the best fighters are uh, ones that are more fresh and agile and that have um, more smarts and more kind of like uh, quicker reactions than, th than those that have built lots of muscle and that have become uh, huge, giant, chunky warriors. So it's not about bodies or, you know, how people have evolved it's, um, or developed. It's just more about being out of trouble, okay? Like being out of trouble, out of any kind of slogans and community thought out of any kind of exhibitionism when it comes to who you are in the world, staying out of other people's lives, staying out of other people's thoughts, being absolutely not interested in how certain cultures or communities develop because they're very toxic during this time. It's just being better than that and sometimes it's about being proud and who you are and learning the mechanics of how to keep afloat, like how to keep your business going, how to keep uh, going with your work, how to keep going with your uh, life and your family on a more alternative and slinky route without having to be in the perils and having to ask all those questions like, when will the government give me this? When will the people understand? You know, when will God help? You know, all of those clunky question marks, they just don't have any part to play in your future. And even if you do reach some success in authoritarian roles or authoritarian communities, it's just going to be just meaningless eventually. It's just going to be meaningless during these times. So thank you very much, Cancer. I hope this has been interesting. I hope that you have some um, wonderful ways that you can enrich your life and some things that you can uh, enjoy and uh, maybe even redevelop and uh, experiment with. It's a beautiful experimental time. Um, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you uh, next time.